All right, Shalom. It's the brother from the James Master of Carolina Camp back with another lesson. Before we go any uh, further, we give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Karkwadash. The bonus to our apostles and elders, the great millstone, which teaches us the truth. According to the Bible, rule well, and peace and blessings still for like the nation of Israel today through the Spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, just going to go into a lesson. On um, pretty much suffering in this truth, you know, that we are, we're basically appointed, you know, when we come to serve the Lord, to bear our cross, you know, and it's not a light thing, but, you know, Yahweh by Shema Hashai promised that we were going to be rewarded for this, you know, that our labor is not in vain, ultimately, you know, that, you know, at the end of every work, you know, you're going to see a reward, you know, that we, uh, we're, there's going to be, uh, when we get paid, you know, you have those servants, that were standing in the marketplace and they were all paid that penny you know that's the same thing with these times we in that penny represents the kingdom we are, are going to get paid you know Yahweh Shai is going to uh, reward his men for doing his work for catching uh the little bit of hell that they catch here in the society you know and i'm just going to bring out uh it's going to just be like an exhortation just a couple of scriptures cause, you know i was talking to some of the brothers you know catching hell this week but i mean it's whatever at the end of the day uh babylon the great is still going to be taken out uh esau edom is still going to be taken out of power you know the lord is still going to uphold to is uphold his side of the deal and um save his remnant lord's going to be a part of that so at the end of the day none of this stuff is going to matter yeah i've been bringing the scripture out a lot you know i, I got you know Spirit, have you meditate on like one or two scriptures, and you pretty much just flow in the spirit from there, you know. But uh, let me find the scripture. Pretty much just find it every time. Lord's willing, I need to highlight it in my sword, cause um, I got a new sword, so I need to make sure I'm keeping up my studies and things like that. This is Sirach chapter eleven, verse twenty-five, and it reads: "In the day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction." And in the yeah, so in the day of prosperity, when we're in the kingdom, is going to be a forgetfulness of affliction. We're going to be joyous. We're going to be relaxing. But even on this side, you know, um, when all these people are, are catching hell in their prosperity, they're going to for uh, they're going to uh, well, it's like I'm gonna keep reading. It says, and in the day of affliction, there is no remembrance of prosperity. Yeah, so when these people uh start catching their hell. They're not gonna remember the joyous times they were having in Babylon, but yet what? But yet the scriptures say that the men of the Lord are gonna be rejoicing in that time. You know, we're gonna be excited. You know, you know uh, that Yahweh by Shema Shai is making a haste on his on his promise. You know, Yah, and especially when we get in the kingdom. You know, we're not gonna remember this hell whole called Babylon the Great anymore. You know. This, this, the scripture saw it, this, the saints shall sing aloud, shall sing aloud upon their bed, you know? They're going to be uh, excited, happy, you know? When the brothers wake up uh, singing upon their bed in this kingdom, no. You wake up, you probably got a backache, you know? As soon as you start uh, walking, your joints are all aching. You know, you probably didn't get uh, too much sleep because you were taking care of your, um, your kids all night long. But you got to work early in the morning probably working a long shift so we are not singing loud upon our bed but in the kingdom we will you know and this place will be like a like a like a like a nightmare that fadeth away this is wisdom of solomon chapter 3 verse 5 and salaki brothers if i'm talking too much wisdom of solomon 3 and 5 and having been and having been a little chasteneth yeah so we are being chasteneth now being corrected for our betterment we are being uh, tried in the furnace of adversity. We are being tried, you know, uh, what, because what, we are the, the elect men of the Lord. Lord, let me be part of that. They are being tried as gold in the fire. And when you put fire uh, to gold, it takes off the impurities. So what the scriptures say, be ye perfect as your heavenly father in heaven is perfect. And we are the temple of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, the Lord wants a, a, a clean building pretty much, you know. We're his stones. You can't have a stone with a whole bunch of spots, you know. So the Lord is putting us through the fire, trying us, uh, you know, uh, testing us by these little trials and tribulation. 
But it's, it's you know, if it be the Lord's will, we're gonna uh, we're going to see, and it's all this is gonna be for our betterment. And having been a little chastening, they shall be greatly rewarded. And who's that? They, the elect, the elect are gonna be greatly rewarded. You know, with a kingdom, you know, with rulership. Ultimately, oh, what what the elect is really seeking for on this side is mercy from the Lord's wrath, because the Lord promised that He was gonna bring wrath. You know. The kingdom is just a bonus, you know. We're doing the work, you know, just so we can be hid in the in the day of the Lord's anger. Like it tells you in Zephaniah uh the third chapter. And it reads or it might be the second chapter, but um, I'm not gonna get it. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter three, verse five, and having been a little chastened, they shall be greatly rewarded, for the most I proved them. Yeah, he proved them, he tried them. And found them worthy for himself. Yes, yeah, so the elect men of Yahweh by Shema Hashai, the Lord found them worthy for himself. You know, it's not anything, you know, the Lord ultimately uh, from the foundation of earth put the spirit on you to be worthy. It's not any of your works that you've done on this side. It's ultimately because the Lord is getting us through these trials and tribulations. You got to remember that, you know. So the Lord is not going to put on anything, on anything that we can't handle, you know. So you gotta have continue to have faith in the Lord that through all these different uh trials and tribulations that we go through, all these little hell that the Lord is gonna keep his spirit upon us. Real quick, um if I can just find it real quick. This is um the book of Philippians chapter one verse six being confident meaning with faith meaning having faith of this very thing that he which have begun a good work in you will put will perform it unto the day of the lord yahweh shai mashiach yes the lord you know being confident that the lord is going to keep his spirit upon you that the lord is going to continue to pour out his mercy upon you you know if you're being uh sincere not taking the lord's grace for granted you know as a cloak to do wickedness you know so you gotta have that confidence that the lord whatever he puts you upon that he's gonna get you in through you gotta have that faith you know scriptures talk about without faith isn't is it impossible to to is impossible to please the lord you know and we are seeking to do that which is well pleasing through our trials and tribulations so what the lord can greatly reward us this is acts 14 and 22 confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith yes yeah, so we are making uh, videos exhorting brothers to continue in the faith you know continue to fight the good fight of faith um lay hold on eternal life whereunto thou art also called yeah the lord yahweh shema shai yahweh shema shai you know, they promise um, a, a certain men down here on the earth to give them eternal life. You know, isn't that worth fighting for? You know, fresh air, clean food. You know, so uh, this is an exhortation to, to tell birds to keep fighting, you know. Birds go through their little hell, you know, uh, like we're fighting an uphill battle pretty much. But, you know, the Lord is with us at the end of the day. You got Lori Hawashai right there with us. The, script, the Lord said he was going to be with us low even unto the end of the world. The Lord sees us down here. The Lord is fighting for us, you know. The Lord has already conquered. He has already won the battle. You know, all we got to do is endure. They, he that which shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. What the Lord pray in St. John 17? That what? I pray that thou take them not out of the world, but thou shalt deliver, deliver, keep them from the evil, you know. And also, the Lord said, all whom thou hast given me, none of them are lost, you know. My sheep hear my voice, you know. And they, basically, we're in the hands of the Heavenly Father. And none of us, none of them get, get plucked out of the Lord's hand. You know, so what we are praying to be part of that number that endures them to the end. No matter what trials and tribulations we go through. This is Acts 14 and 22. Confirm, confirming the souls of the disciples... The brothers in the faith preaching this word in the multitude of believers, you know, and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must 
like this is a must so you know it's not a maybe it's a must you know it must happen we must through much tribulation much tribulation a lot of hell you know much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high yes yeah, so much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of the most high you know but what the lord said we're going to enter in you know so that should give brothers a uh, hope that should give brothers an assignment that we have a chance to make it to the kingdom you know the lord lord how he, he he died for our sins starting with the elect you know we're not saying that we're uh all brothers are great most on part of the elect but that's our hope that's our faith that's what we believe you know that lord that the lord is going to have mercy upon us because what else are we fighting for you know we're fighting to take part in the lord's mercy you know romans 11 and 7 what then israel have not attained that which he seeketh for but the election have attained it and the rest were blinded we're we're praying to be part of that election that obtains this truth that obtains mercy from yahweh by shema shai you know while the rest were blinded by two-thirds get taken away this is second Ezra chapter 7 verse 6 there is another thing a city is built it and set upon a broad field and is full of good things yeah and the city represents the kingdom the entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall yeah so you know the entrance to the city which is a kingdom you know walking through is a dangerous place you know so what if you're walking through a dangerous place you can get a couple of bumps and bruises but what as long as you make it onto the end if you make it to the kingdom which is going to break it down the entrance therein is narrow and set in a dangerous place to fall like as if there were fire on the right hand and left a deep water and only one path between both even between the fire and the water so small that there could be one man go there at once yeah so basically it's a narrow path you know it's a path of difficulty scriptures say enter ye in at the straight gate for why is the path that leads to destruction to destruction and many there be that find it so we want to be part of that few that elect that go in at the straight gate if this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance yeah is is not did not the lord uh promise to uh uh he the alba shema said he was gonna um he promised to give us our land you know starting with the elect ultimately so that is our inheritance you know getting back the land of israel jerusalem if he never shall pass the dangerous set before him how shall how shall he receive this inheritance yeah so if you know if you don't go through the hell if you don't go through the trials and tribulations how shall you receive your inheritance you know you gotta walk this path you know it's not a easy path it's not a light path but the Lord said he was going to uh, get us through it, you know. The Lord promised to save in a, a certain number of men on the earth. You know, that's why you see brothers doing more videos on making. You know, you have the elder um, elder apostle Ricard do a, a video saying, um, you know, pray that you, you stay in the circle. Prayer, you know, brothers need to make sure they're praying more. You know, that they're doing what they that require them in the spirit, you know. Hey. You gotta fight. You gotta fight this. You gotta fight. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 17. And if children, then heirs. Heirs of the Most High and joint heirs with the Mashiach. Yes, yeah, so we are joint heirs. You know, start, the nation of Israel as a whole is joint heirs with Lori Hawashai. But starting with the elect, we want to be part of those first fruits. Um, real quick, let me find the scripture. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I believe the scriptures say all things were created by him and for him. Yeah, so basically, Yahweh Shai, you know, with his elect and the holy angels, he created all things and all things are his, you know? Everything that you see is Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, where the Heavenly Father gave it to Lord Yahweh Shai. So what? Hey, um, it tells you, um, the Lord told 
I really want to find that scripture real quick, but bear with me. Because it talks about the soles of our feet. Everything our feet touches is going to be ours. Joshua, the first chapter. Real quick, brother Salakia. Because, you know, really, the whole planet Earth, you know, is Lori Howishai's. But what we are going to receive the planet Earth, we're going to receive the whole Earth. You know, Lord's willing on the first go around. Lord's willing the Lord find uh, us fit to enter in. That's what we're fighting for. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 1. I'm going to go straight to the point. Uh, verse 3. Um, I'll start at 2. Joshua 1 and 2. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan thou and all this people unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall th shall thread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. Yes. Yeah, so everywhere our feet uh, threads upon upon the earth, hey, that's that's what the Lord has given us. You know, that is our inheritance. Ultimately, the whole planet Earth. This is back in Romans. Why? Because it's Lord Yahweh's eyes. You know, and we are joint heirs. This is Romans 8 and 17, and it reads, If so be that we suffer with them, that we may also, that we may be also glorified together. Yeah, so we suffer with the Lord, we suffer for righteousness sake, but we are going to be glorified with the Lord together. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time, yeah, the suffering that this present time, you know, I read earlier through this, read the first scripture, you know, when in the day of, uh, of affliction, there is no remembrance of prosperity. So what? At the, the suffering at this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that sh which shall be revealed in us. Yeah, the, uh, the glory that Yahweh Shema is going to bestow upon uh, the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, is not worthy to even be compared about with this little bit of hell that we're catching, you know? I'm going to get one more scripture. I'm going to close it out. Hey, this is all about faith. Do you trust and believe that the Lord is going to come back? You know, there's a, there's enough scriptures on faith and exhortation, you know, about what the, what the elect are going to receive. You know, Lord's going to be a part of that. This is 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 13, verse 12. 1 Peter 4 and 12. Beloved, thinking not strange concerning the fiery trials, trials, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. Yeah, though some strange thing happened unto you. Like, man, like, everything was just good yesterday. Like, why the heck did this happen, you know? Hey, thinking not strange, you know? But rejoice, yeah, but you we are supposed to rejoice in our suffering, you know, we catch our hell, you know, it seems grievous, you know, brothers ain't walk around with a big smile on our face, you know, but in the spirit, you hey, supposed to be rejoicing, hey, y'all by Shemel Shai is still dealing with me, you know, the, the Lord is still, hey, I'm catching this hell, but the Lord is still fighting for me, the Lord is still getting me through these things, you know, hey, you gotta keep that in the back of your mind, like, damn, I call hell today, but hey, the Lord got me through it. Yahweh by Shema Shai got me through it, you know. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers in the Mashiach suffering. Yeah, so we're suffering for righteousness sake. So the majority of these people, they're suffering for their wickedness. You know, the Lord is judging them day to day for the wickedness that we're, they're doing. But we're catching hell for righteousness sake. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of a Mashiach sufferings. That when his glory shall be revealed, he may be glad also, that ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Yeah, so when Lord Yahweh's glory may be revealed, you know, he comes back uh, with his holy angels, that we may be glad also, you know. The Lord came back, and you know, we're going to be scared, you know, through the Spirit, because it's going to be a frightening sight. But hey, 
we're gonna, if we make it on those chariots, brothers are gonna be uh, leaping for joy. The um the scriptures say um that we were scared, but yet gave praises to Yah by Shema Shai. Call on Yah by Shema Shai. You know. We're, hey, we're going to leap for joy to be part of the, like, we making on those chariots, you know? There's a great reward for for trusting Yahweh by Shema Shai. This is St. John 14 and 1. Let your let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the Most High, believe also in me. Yeah, so don't, you can't, hey, you can't have, hey, you can't let your heart be troubled, you know? you Hey, you believe in the Heavenly Father, you got to believe in Lord Yahweh Shai. You know that his that that everything that he promised us, you know that hey he's gonna hey that he he's gonna keep it, you know. He's gonna perform it. In my father's house are many mansions. Yeah, mansion. You know, many planets. You know, because the Lord, you know, the Lord, the heavenly Father is is way beyond this earth. The Lord just ain't gonna give us mansions on the earth. It says in my father's house are many mansions. The heavenly Father. The scriptures say that heavens. Are, is his throne and the earth is his footstool so that father's house you know hey that's that that's that's un, unmeasurable scriptures say the lord the throne the, uh, the lord's throne is unestimatable you know so how much bigger his house it says in my father's house are many mansions many uncountable un a, a lot it's it's uh millions upon millions when you look up that word many it's uh, a number so great that you can't count it many mansions so many planets brothers if it were not so i would have told you i go to repair a place for you so lori how was shy you know he gathered his elect you know he he planned that seed you know we are waking up in these last days our oils are burning you know Brothers are on fire. Hey, and we're going to get put through the fire. Hey, and he said what? Let's see what he said. And if I go and prepare a place for you. He said, so if you're preparing a place for someone, it makes no sense if you're not going to um, come back and get them. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am. There ye may be also. Yeah, so we are once again going to be joined with Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, in the kingdom of heaven. You know, so brothers, just remember, hey, we got a kingdom. We got a rulership. You know, we're at the end of this thing. You know, Esau, Edom is going down. These people are disgruntled. They're grumpy all day. They're going through emotional problems. When all hell breaks loose, they're not going to be able to keep it. Um, You got this. Um, The Lord is just sending things up in the spirit. You know, you got this famine that's on the rise um, with these crops messing up. You know, I was watching the reports that saying uh, bot time uh, when the winter time comes around. Same thing with in the time of Egypt. You know, the Lord gave a warning of the famine that was coming. Hey, but when it came, it was great. If brothers have time, you know, uh, read the book of Exodus, you know, um, about that famine that came in. They were like, shoot, uh, they, they even became slaves just to eat. So, and it's going to be even worse in this time because the scriptures talk about it's going to be a day that cannot be prepared. You know, the scriptures also say, Thou faint in the day of adversity, thy, thy strength is small. So, what? A, hey, your strength needs to be this wisdom. Uh, it tells you in Proverbs days, uh, 8th chapter, um, I, I, that, that, that wisdom, uh, he was like, I am strength. A, hey, hey, your wisdom, your understanding this truth, you know, you. Uh, having faith in the Lord needs to be needs to be strong, and you know, in the, in these coming days, so brothers, continue to pray, continue to pray to Yah by Shema Shah for more more faith, you know, uh, for uh, for a uh, more willing mind to catch hell, because it's coming, you know, we're gonna catch hell, and the Lord is preparing us, you know, we're 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 getting built up, you know, you're gonna remember, hey, I, I've been through something like this before, you know. I remember when I was catching this, so the Lord is uh, building this up, building this up, building this up, you know? But Lord's willing, you know, I, I didn't talk too much, you know? Just an exhortation video, exhorting the brothers to continue in the faith, you know? But Lord's willing, you brothers were edified through the spirit and power of y'all by Shema and Shai as I was. You know, before I go any further, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Akarkwadash, the Bible, and Star Apostle, and Elders, the Great Millstone, for teaching us the truth.
according to the Bible and rule well. And peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Till next time we say, Shalom.